I'll be showing eight new features in OneNote. This includes the all new Sticky Notes app, loop integration with collaborative components, ink updates, and a whole lot more. So let's get started. The first new feature is a brand new Sticky Notes app that comes with OneNote for Windows. Right now, you can see I've got OneNote up and there's a Sticky Notes button right here. This is gonna long-term replace the existing Windows Sticky Notes app, but for now, and this is in Insider Preview, this is the Sticky Notes app that's brand new and modernized. So what I'm gonna do is click this and it's gonna launch this new Sticky Notes app right here. If you wanna pin it, you can right click and just choose pin to taskbar. I'm signed in with my account, and if you sign in, these will roam across your Windows devices. You can see I'm signed in. There's some other settings, and I'll cover dock to desktop in just a little bit. First off, you have a couple of nice tips right here. Use sticky notes on your phone. There's a QR code. You can capture screenshots. I'll show that. Automatic source capture, I'll show that as well, and then quickly access the new Sticky Notes app. And you can launch this with the Windows, Alt, and S together. So I'm gonna close this and do Windows, Alt, S, and it launches the Sticky Notes app right away. First thing I'll do is just create a new note. So let's say that I'm researching on a website here. Look at that, it's the blog about the new Sticky Notes app. And I'm like, oh, a little inception. I'm gonna take a note about the new Sticky Notes. So here's what I'm gonna say. New Sticky Notes app is amazing. I can go and hit the three dot menu. I can change the color. Maybe I want a nice little pink. I can delete it there. It also automatically pulls in the source of what I'm looking at. So I'm looking at this web browser. It automatically sourced it. It's kind of nice. I can use bold and italics, underline, a couple other things. I could even add a screenshot to this one right now. I won't. And if you wanna pop this out to get a bigger view, now it's popped out and I can make it really big or size it in any way that I want. I'll close this. The other nice thing it has is it has the screenshot command. So if I hover here, capture from this site, it has a little preview image. We'll click this and it adds this new site capture right there. I can make this bigger if I wanna see the whole thing and a nice big note. We'll close this, and again, it automatically sources where I got this from. So it's really easy to be a nice research tool. Maybe I'm down here and I'm like, ooh, that looks pretty. We'll do another screenshot there. It captures it. What is also nice is you can hit the search button and you can search through all of your notes. And there it highlights what I had. I had the notes app. It highlights the little parts that it found. So search is pretty handy as well. And then also what I can do is hit the three dot menu and I can choose dock to desktop. So if I click this, now it is docked. Maybe I'm gonna to go to a new site. Here's a great one, the Microsoft Education blog. I'm going in here. I'm gonna take a note about it. And again, it automatically sources it and I can keep taking my notes. As I mentioned, this is currently for M365 Insiders. This is in March of 2024. There's gonna be new updates coming to Sticky Notes and ultimately this will replace the existing pre-installed old Sticky Notes app that's in Windows. The second new feature is the ability to paste a loop component link into OneNote and it renders that entire loop component. For those of you that are not aware, loop is a real-time collaborative components tool as well as a full app. And what you can do is create real-time components, whether it is in Teams or in Word or Outlook. Now you can also put those links into OneNote and it will render. So here I am in a Teams group chat and I've started this loop component. I'm just gonna go right here and click copy component. And now I'm gonna switch over into OneNote and paste that. Okay, now I'll just paste that loop component from Teams that I just created. And now that's gonna start rendering. So here it is, I have a real time table that I've created and oh look, there is Emma Gray. She's starting to type in the upper right under due date. I'm gonna go in here, the get Bill Lumberg sign off. I'm gonna be adding what I need to do. Okay, I'll add the due date. Mine's gonna be April 25th. And then it looks like Emma added a little cloud and rain because we know that it's rainy around here on April 14th. So you can have real-time collaboration right here in OneNote with any type of loop component. Now switching over to the loop app, you can see the same loop components. If I wanna share this in other places like Teams or Word, I just click on the loop component. Now I've got a link and I can share that in other places. And right now this is an M365 Insider Public Preview. It'll be rolling out more broadly in April and May into the monthly channel and then the semi-annual channel. The third new feature is inserting a loop component. So I'm gonna to go to the insert menu here and there's a loop components option. I'm gonna drop this down and I've got a bunch of choices. I just showed a table earlier. You can do a task list, a paragraph, a checklist. So if I wanna do, let's say a task list, I'll go here and it creates a brand new loop component and it has a nice table. I'm gonna make this a little bit wider like this so I can see more of the column headers. So I'll give it a title, the team task list. I can give a task name. And again, this is fully collaborative. I can assign this to different people. 
I can select a date really easily. So what's nice is I can create new loop components here and I can also paste loop components like you saw earlier. And if I click this link, I'll go right into the loop app and here is that loop component that I just created. You can see I'm here in it right there and I can share this out and I can put this component in many other places, whether it's in the loop app here or in Teams or in Word or in Outlook, loop is everywhere and now it's come to OneNote as well. Reminder that this is still an insider preview. This is about March 20th, but it should roll out fully to all the monthly channel customers very soon and then even more broadly after that. The fourth new feature is a new home screen on OneNote for iPhone. So I'm gonna launch OneNote here and you're gonna see a brand new home screen that's the default. I've got a nice list of all my different notes. I can scroll up and down. Also, like before, you can hit the plus button and hold that down and you'll be able to choose new sticky note, task list, record audio camera, or new note. That's a nice little option right there. Now in the upper right, hit the three dot menu and you can choose view as grid. Now all my notes are in a nice little grid format. Tap it again, and now I'm gonna say select notes. And on the right, there's little circles I can tap to select different notes if I want. I'm not gonna select any here. Tap it again, and now I'll choose filter and sort. I can filter by OneNote pages, sticky notes. We'll just go back to all. I can go here and we'll choose title. And now it is sorting my numbers at the top, but then all the different titles A through Z. Tap it again, filter and sort. This time I will choose create date, same sorting. So this is fully rolled out on iPhone now. The fifth new feature is a long time request. You can now have ink stick with pictures and PDFs when you move them around automatically. I'm on the draw tab here and I'm gonna do a little inking right on top of this TPS report cover sheet. So we'll circle it and I'll just give a little phrase here. Oh, a little arrow. Hey, this is awesome. Now I've inked on this. Now I'm just gonna tap on that picture and I click and drag with my pen. Check it out, everything sticks. I can drag it down it automatically sticks. This also works with PDFs that you print to the page. So on the insert menu, tap file printout. I'll select a PDF and hit insert and it's gonna print that to the OneNote page. If I ink on top of this, same thing. It will stick with that PDF image, which has been a huge request. So go to the draw tab, click on the red pen. And what I'm gonna do now is we're just gonna circle right here on that PDF image. And we're gonna say, wow. Now I will just zoom back out so you can see a little bit better. And then what I'll do is I'm just going to tap on that image. And then what I'm gonna be able to do is drag that PDF image around. So I drag it, look at that, the ink sticks on it, just like you always wanted to. This is gonna be a huge time saver. Zoom back in. The sixth new feature is a new ink to text pen type. I will go to the draw tab and right there, this gray pen is the ink to text pen. So I'm gonna write out my name really quick in ink, Mike, and watch what happens. It gets swooshed right into there. And I'm gonna write out some more words, important words, TPS report. And that's also gonna just convert right into text. So that's the ink to text pen. The seventh new feature is tap to select with ink improvement. So I can just go here and I'll hit the selection device, the arrow, and tap once on the word here and it's gonna select it. And also the little context menu pops up right there. We'll clear this. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is tap twice on a word and it's gonna select that whole sentence. Kinda nice, same thing, little context menu pops up. And then the last one you can do is tap three times on any ink word and it'll select all the ink in the paragraph. And in this case, I'm gonna choose ink to text right there and hey, it just converts it really easily. This is also in M365 Insider Preview right now. The eighth new feature is a Teams integration with OneNote. Now, when you create a new channel, it'll automatically add a notes tab that's tied to a OneNote notebook behind the scenes. So I will hit the three dot menu on this team here and I will choose add channel. Let's give it a name and a type and hit create. Now that channel is added, it takes just a second and the notes tab will pop up just at the top here. And there it is. Let's click on notes, getting it ready. And there we go. There's a nice notes tab right here in my TPS reports channel. I can collapse and expand this. And if I wanna open it up in the browser, I can go right here and say open in browser to get the full experience. By the way, if you're an educator, you already have this capability. So this is really something that is new for our commercial and enterprise customers. If you want to keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.